So in this video, I want to go over how to use color Doppler. So the first thing you want to do is you want to acquire a good 2D image of the structure you're interested in looking at with color Doppler. So here I am uh, scanning the uh, carotid artery right here, and I'm going to be putting color flow over that. So I want to make sure I center the image, get an optimal 2D image in my B mode, and then activate the color Doppler. And every system will have a color Doppler. The button where that is will vary by system, but each system should allow you to activate that. So once you push that, what you'll see is a box that comes out. Okay, so this is your color Doppler box, and you can adjust that box to where you want the uh, color Doppler to image. And the only thing that will show up with color Doppler is whatever is inside the box. So outside here, even if there's vessels, you're not going to see any color Doppler. So make sure you put the box right over your structures of interest. So now I have it over the carotid artery and I'm adjusting. Another thing you can do is you can adjust the size of the box as well as move it. So that's what I'm doing right here. Just adjusting the size of the box. And the next thing you can do is you can adjust the scale right here is there's a scale button uh, all machines will have some type of scale uh, button where you can adjust that and what this does is it affects the how much speed the doppler is detecting how much speed the color doppler is detecting so here this is uh, 23 centimeters per second and uh, if you bring this scale down which i'm going to do here now it goes to two centimeters per second you see there's a lot of what we call aliasing because it's detecting such low flows that it is essentially looping around between reds and blues, okay? So this is obviously a uh, scale that's way too, too low for this uh, type of application. So I just wanted to show you what that looked like. And now I'm actually gonna increase the scale all the way to the highest level. And you can see now it's detecting 79 centimeters per second. Um, which is going to be too high for our settings and you're not going to be able to see as much flow as you would want to So here's a carotid artery. You can see that there's obviously flow around the uh, outside or the right uh, or adjacent to the artery Wall, but you don't see that it looks dark right there because you're not detecting those lower flows right there. So let's see what that looks like here Okay so what you want to do is you want to bring your scale just to the point where you're actually seeing enough flow, but not too much or too little where you're either aliasing, meaning you have uh, your scale is too low, or you're not seeing enough where your scale is too high. So I'm going to bring that down, and that's a, about a good scale right there around the 27 centimeters per second uh, mark. So make sure you adjust that. A lot of people just don't even realize that that's uh, available or that's something you can adjust. Um, the next thing you can adjust is the color Doppler gain. So here, this is the gain button here. So when you're on color Doppler mode and you push the gain button, that will change the gain of the color Doppler, not your grayscale gain. It won't change the actual brightness of this gray black area. It'll change the how much uh, signal you're actually picking up from the color Doppler itself. So keep that in mind when you uh, adjust your gain settings in the color Doppler mode. So here, I'm going to just show you an example of, I'm gonna decrease the gain all the way, and so let me roll that back just a little bit, but as you see, when the gain is at minimal, you see no color flow at all because it's telling the ultrasound system to not pick up any of these uh, signals. So once you, increase the gain all the way up. Now you can see this is way too much gain. It's kind of how you had your B mode scan, your gray, your gray scale, and you increase the gain all the way, the whole screen turns white. That's very similar to this, where you've increased your gain so much that the whole screen is just turning blue and red. So you wanna um, adjust your gain to the optimal level right here. So this is a good level where you're just seeing color flow in your structure of interest and not outside that. Sometimes you can't avoid it, but try to as best as possible. So those are the main settings for color Doppler. I uh, hope you found that helpful. Um, and just go through it in that order each time, right? Just go push the color Doppler button and then adjust your box, move it around, adjust the size of the box so that it's only scanning the area of interest. 
Um, next is adjust your scale to the appropriate scale for your uh, velocities uh, for depending on which application you're using. And that button's over here for the scale. And lastly, adjust the gain to make sure that uh, the color Doppler is properly gained.